Hello and welcome to another Stack Team App Help video. Today's video, we're going to show you how to create your very own app. It's so simple that you'll have it up and running in less than 10 minutes. Please also make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also make sure you hit the bell icon so you turn on the alerts, so you get notified when we upload future videos. This video will showcase how to create an app via the Stack Team App website at stackteamapp.com but the process is exactly the same via the mobile app, which can be downloaded via the App Store or Google Play. It's free to create an app and free for your members to use. First, head to our website. Then on the main home screen, click on the Create Team Club button. Now select your category, then the setup process remains similar regardless of the category. For this video, we'll choose Single Team. Then enter your team name, upload a logo, choose your sport, select a time zone, and into location details. If you are a youth team or club, then click the Junior Youth Team box. This will enable you to align parents to each child member during the setup. Make sure you've entered all the details and then press Create. Step one is to enter your play names. This step only exists for youth clubs. This can be done at a later time if you wish. We will enter Bill Smith and Julie Wilson. Do not enter parent names or emails at this step. The next stage is to invite members to join your team. All players, parents, family and friends are welcome on Stack Team App. Selecting the Invite button will open up an email for you to send out using your chosen email provider. Once completed, click Next, which brings you to step three. This is where you choose the features you wish to use. We have defaulted on the most popular features, which can be turned off at any time. Once you scroll to the bottom, hit Next. Congratulations, your app is now live, it's that easy. As an admin, you have access to the website dashboard. To get to your dashboard, go to the My Teams button at the top. Then just below there, select the wrench icon to the top right of the page. The website dashboard is the control center of your app. You can preview what your app looks like, turn features on or off, and rename features as required. Stack Team App has loads of great features to explore and we'll cover some of the basics to get you started today. More in-depth videos can be found at stackteamapp.com or via our YouTube channel. With Stack Team App, you manage communication to members via access groups. So that's where we'll start. Click on the Access Groups button. It's best to add groups relevant to your team, such as specific groups for coaches, administrators, parents or sponsors. Creating access groups is a really important part of your app. So when users join your app, they will choose which access group applies to them and you can approve or deny their request. To create an access group, click the blue plus button. Now go back to your dashboard and choose the button Invite Promote. At any time, you can choose this feature to invite members to your app with five different options. You can choose to invite someone via email, add an individual member with pre-approval, bulk import a large amount with pre-approval, download a custom promotional PDF brochure, or put Stack Team App button on your website for simple access. Now we'll click on the members where you'll see yourself as a full admin and the names of Bill and Julie as we entered earlier. Click on the three dots menu to add players or other members individually, or click here to bulk import members. There are detailed videos on this on the support website. When a parent or guardian joins your team, you align them to a child from the pre entered list or you select Add More Players. We will align Steve Smith to his child, Bill Smith, whom we entered earlier. Once aligned, the Guardian will receive notifications on behalf of the child's access group, so they can also reply to events on behalf of their child. At any time, select any member to add a Guardian or a child, or edit, assign admin privileges, or place into access groups. Full admins have access to everything included in the dashboard or you can assign restricted admins to have control over specific groups, which is great for a coach or team manager. If you would like to change the design or appearance of your app or website, click on the Design and Appearance tab. Here you can upload a logo, change your color scheme, and much more. When creating content such as a news article, under Feature Manager, click on the News feature. This allows you to create a new article and choose which access groups will receive that content. At Members, will receive a push notification, whilst other members who have not finalised the Stack Team App account process will receive an email.
creation of content for all features can be done via the website dashboard or via the app. To enter a practice or match schedule, simply click on the schedule feature to enter a new schedule. You can make a calendar entry, attach a PDF or enter a web link which directs users to a schedule on an external website like Stack Tawny. When creating a manual schedule, you can enable RSVPs to find out who's available to play, enter a duty roster for volunteers, track attendance and much more. Then choose which access groups each schedule applies to and create. You can enter additional teams via the Teams button and link content for those teams at any time. It's important to note that Teams are for the purpose of displaying content in your app via a menu of Teams, whilst access groups are for direct communication to specific groups of members. There's a whole host of other great features on Stack Team app, including instant messaging via chat, uploading photos or videos via the gallery, storing PDF documents or newsletters, creating an online store, or directly linking to external websites. Under Feature Manager, just click on each feature. Then click the eye icon to view instructions for each feature. And remember, managing your app and its members or creating content can be done via the website dashboard or easily via the app. So choose whichever platform suits you best. Thanks for watching another Stack Team App Help video. As always, please reach out to us at stackteamapp.com if you need further advice on app creation or any other Stack Team App feature.